and welcome to everybody. I think we have around 2,000 people from five continents. And when I say that, I'm probably offending somebody in Antarctica whom Cosimo and the team at Speakers Associates, to whom many thanks, have probably managed to get onto our seminar today. So welcome to you all to my home, uh, classroom, kitchen, gymnasium and workplace, as all of us at the moment. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Uh, the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write. Rather, it will be those who cannot learn, unlearn and relearn. Not my words, the words of this gentleman, Mr. Alvin Toffler, speaking 50 years ago. And I don't know about you, but I'm not sure where these skills, this new literacy is being taught. So we're speaking a lot about change. And my, my view would be that we are uh, seeing a, a natural rate of human ability to adapt, our innate genetic human rate of adaptation, remaining largely static, of course. We're, we're each getting better in our lifetimes. So we're born with roughly the same abilities. However, we've got a rate of change which is exponentially increasing and recently, without needing to go into it, received uh, an accelerant boost. And I think we're filling these, uh, this gap not with literacy, we learn literacy. There's a science and a framework to literacy. I think we're filling this with words like mental health issues and well-being issues and agile without really studying perhaps what agile means and how we can grow it. So what I want to do today is begin to look at some of the evidence around that and then look at a manifesto, a framework, an architecture for delivering transformation, but also for creating agile organizations. If we take it that change is not now an event, a program, it's a way of being, uh, and we need to, as we've just uh, had illustrated to us, be extremely agile and able to switch to different um, ways of working very quickly. This is not something we're being taught how to do on a deep level. And if we look out uh, at the most recent report, this March, Health and Wellbeing from the Chartered Institute, of personnel and development, the um, HR governing body for the United Kingdom. 